So I'm going to give you five quick and easy steps on how to write a homeschool mission statement. Now why do you do that? Well because there are sometimes that you lose track of why you're doing what you're doing. And it's good to have a mission statement to bring you back to that why and to give you the resolve to keep going. So grab a piece of paper, first write down why you started homeschooling. And it could be any reason. It's not wrong. It's why you started. Um, second, write what you envision to be different based on what things were like when you started. And that could be any situation that was going on that, um, that you felt that homeschooling was the solution to those issues. The third thing you want to do is write some long-term goals, and they could be goals for your children, goals for your family in total, but write out those goals that you have that you believe and that you are setting before you in your homeschooling to achieve. Fourth thing is write down how each person in your family is going to be essential in making those goals happen, both parents and children alike. And the fifth step is now to take everything that you've written down and summarize it. Now, it can be a handwritten scratch summary and make sure it's readable. Um, or you can print it off really pretty, add a scripture verse, whatever. <laughs> you can even frame it. But where, whatever you do to bring that summary together and how you print it out, the important thing is, is that you put it near where you homeschool every day so that you see it. Because I promise you there will be those tough days when you say, why am I doing what I'm doing? Maybe we should just go back to where we were before. But that mission statement is going to remind you why you're doing what you're doing. And it will give you the resolve to keep moving on, to keep reaching for those goals, and to create a better future for your family and your children.